Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. The AP poll is stupid. It is a poll created by people that are biased towards the big brands, biased towards the big programs, and a poll created by people that don't truly watch the games and take the results into account. Our poll is the exact opposite. Our poll is unbiased. And our poll is solely based on facts and results. And so today, guys, we are here to bring you our week four GE Top 25, one that is going to completely debunk the AP poll, has no effect on our poll whatsoever, solely based on pure football knowledge and what happens out on the field. We are here to break down our fourth set of top 25 rankings this season. Before we jump into that and give you our explanations for all these rankings, please continue to like, comment, subscribe, share our videos. Guys, become a part of our GE Nation. Help us build. Help us grow. We want you to be a part of what we're building here on this channel. We also want you to check out everything down in the description below. Go take a look at our expert picks over on our website, thegridironexpert.com. Some of the best college football and NFL spread picks in the entire country. Beating out over 80% of the national analysts, hitting over 63% of our bets this season, and over 84% on the money line. You do not want to miss out on those picks, guys. Go sign up for those today. Some of the best picks in the country for one of the lowest prices in the country and a chance to become a part of our growing family and nation here at The Gridiron Expert. So guys, let's take a look at our top 25. Again, no bias towards any team or program, no you know, persuasion or anything from outsiders or the AP poll, solely based on what we believe, what we think, solely based on the facts, the numbers, the results that we see taking place every single week. And you take a look at our poll here. If you've, if you've been watching these videos in the past, you know that the top four is unchanged. Georgia, Alabama, Ohio State, Michigan are our top four teams right now each of those four programs having major blowout victories. Georgia, the only one with a quality victory with a conference win over South Carolina, winning 48-7. to Don't want to touch much on those four teams. We have one minor shift in the top five. We have Oklahoma leapfrogging Clemson for that fifth spot. So Sooners up one spot from six to fifth. Clemson down to six. We thought the Sooners' victory over Nebraska, a road game at Nebraska, winning that game 49-14. to thinking that game and that performance a little bit more impressive than Clemson's 48-20 uh, to 20 victory over Louisiana Tech. Some will say that's still a 28-point victory. Yes, the Tigers, though, faltering early, only winning by, what, seven at halftime? It was a 14-point game in the fourth quarter. DJ Uyunglele needs to go, okay? Klubnik needs to be the starter for Clemson, and that could come back to bite the Tigers in their game this week against Wake Forest. Inconsistency offensively could be the, uh, the Achilles heel for the Tigers. Still a top 10 team, still an elite defense, uh, but we like Clemson down to six, Oklahoma up to fifth. Utah and Oklahoma State remain unchanged, both getting blowout victories. Utah over San Diego State, Oklahoma State over UAPB. And then another minor change here, North Carolina State cracking the top 10, leapfrogging Arkansas, who we had at ninth. We now move down to 10th after their narrow victory over Missouri State, beating the Bears 38 to 27, trailing 17 to nothing in that game. The Hogs, to me, still a top 10 team, battled and overcame a lot of adversity in that game to still get the win. Don't feel it necessary to drop them down to you know 15th, 16th, something like that. Still a top 10 team, but North Carolina State's victory, we had them in 11th, their victory over a solid Texas Tech team, beating them by 13 points. Uh, to me, a little bit more impressive NC State into the top 10. So you look, guys, Clemson, NC State, both in the top 10, be facing off here in a few weeks. If they keep winning, watch out. Could have a top five matchup, top six matchup between the Wolfpack and the Tigers. Arkansas in the top 10 has to get past Texas A&M, who we'll talk about shortly, and then could have a top 10 matchup of their own against Alabama uh, in week, will that be six? Week five. Week five. So watch out for that. That's our top 10. Over the second column, Oregon. Woo! All the way back up for the Ducks. Literally flying high for Oregon and Dan Lanning, guys. We had him at 21st. Although we will say this. We never dropped Oregon out of our poll. You know, the AP poll was quick after their blowout loss to Georgia to drop them from 11th to unranked. And we did not do that. We thought it was bad. We dropped them down to the, uh, like, 23rd. But Oregon has been in our poll since the beginning. Their blowout victory over number 12 BYU who we had as a fringe top 10 team as well, 
uh, catapults them all the way back up to number 11. Their win to us, you know, more impressive than that of Baylor's over Texas State, who is uh, right now Baylor, a one-loss team. More impressive than Kentucky, Tennessee, guys like that who played kind of cupcake teams this week. Oregon's win was a quality victory over a solid BYU team who had a top 10 victory to their name. So Ducks, worthy of us jumping a lot of these opponents below them, back in at number 11, showing they are legit, should be taken seriously, and again, showing that you know, one bad loss to the number one team in the country, it's okay. Shouldn't be weighed as heavily. So Oregon at 11. Baylor remaining unchanged, staying at number 12 with their 35-point victory over Texas State. Some say that's too high for the Bears. Uh, I disagree. This is a very dang good Baylor team. Came very close to beating BYU in Week 2. Uh, should not have fallen outside of the top 15. So Baylor still at number 12 for us. Kentucky and Tennessee each up one because of some of the results ahead of them. They got to move up a spot. Uh, Kentucky beating Youngstown State, Tennessee beating Akron. Uh, but obviously, the uh, challenge is getting tougher. Kentucky, Northern Illinois coming up. Tennessee taking on Florida uh, in week four. College, uh, college game day going there. So watch out for that game, though. Our game is in Knoxville. So we like Tennessee a little bit. More analysis on that game coming in the following days. Kentucky, Tennessee, Penn State in the top 15, moving up seven spots in our ranking, taking down Auburn 41-12 on the road. A 29-point victory at Jordan-Hare Stadium. That's a very difficult thing to do, regardless of how good or bad the Auburn team is. Penn State's defense was tenacious. Four turnovers they forced, had over 200 rushing yards on the day against that Tigers front. I mean, Penn State looking like the real deal. Last year, kind of came out of nowhere, was a top five team about midway through the season. They're on pace to do that right now, guys. Could easily be undefeated uh, when they take on Michigan here in a few weeks. And that game could be a top 10, top 12 showdown. So Penn State in the top 15 after a very impressive road victory. Keyword road over Auburn. Now have a road win at Purdue. Have a road win at Auburn. USC up one spot with their win over Fresno State. Still don't have the Trojans hired like some people think. Uh, USC still hasn't been played anybody. Who have they played? You know, they beat Rice, Stanford, Fresno State. None of those teams are elite powerhouses. No quality wins. Tough road game against Oregon State coming up this week. That could be one that could shoot them up a little bit higher in the rankings. But the Trojans, to me, still not a top 10 team by any means. So... USC there, Pittsburgh up a spot with their win over Western Michigan with a third-string quarterback. It's a very impressive victory for Pat Narduzzi and his squad. Ole Miss up two spots with their win over Georgia Tech, defeating the Yellow Jackets 42 to nothing. Very impressive showing all the way around for Lane Kiffin's squad. Doesn't really know him for their defense, but to post a shutout against any opponent is very impressive and hard to come by. So Ole Miss up two. Washington, a newcomer. When you beat the number 11 team in the country 39-28, to put up over 500 yards of offense against them, and that 11-point victory making the game look closer than it really was, yeah, you deserve to go from unranked to a top 20 team. Not unranked to 12th, like they did with Florida, uh, but still a top 20 team. The Huskies guys, they look good. Michael Penix looks revived, revitalized with Kalen DeBoer as his head coach. He's healthy, had over 300 passing yards and four touchdowns against the Spartans. The defense, phenomenal, held Michigan State to under 50 rushing yards on the day. And you look at the Pac-12, guys, this is a conference that, you know, right now we've got, you know, Washington, we've got Oregon, we've got USC, we've got in Utah, we've got four Pac-12 teams in our top 25 right now, uh, and that's not even including teams right on the outside looking in. You know, Oregon State could make some noise soon, especially if they take down USC. Washington State, they play Oregon this week, could make some noise. Uh, the, uh, the Cougars 3-0. So the Pac-12, getting a little bit more respect, and Washington certainly worthy of that. Don't sleep on the Huskies. This team is complete. They're the real deal. It can make a lot more noise before the season's over. So they catapult into the top 20, jumping a team like Wake Forest, who we dropped a spot because of the move of Washington, but also because of their narrow victory over Liberty, only winning that game 37 to 36. I think they're like 16 point favorites, only won by one. Should have been a little bit better than that for the Demon Deacons, but still a top 20 team, which means we have a top 20 showdown against Clemson on Saturday. Rounding out the top 25 guys, BYU dropping 11 spots for us. So we actually did have the Cougars as a top 10 team last week. Uh, they dropped 11 spots following their 41-20 loss to Oregon. It was on the road, cut them a little slack, but again, trailing 38-7, Cougars did not show up or simply no match for the Ducks. So the playoff hopes and hype for the Cougars, 
gone. You know, people were thinking they could be a dark horse team with the uh, strength of schedule they had. They needed that win against Oregon to keep those hopes alive. It's all gone now. Still could be a great season for BYU as they're beginning their transition to the Big 12, uh, but not enough to hang with uh, the Ducks in Eugene. Still, though, a top 25 team, that Baylor victory weighing a lot here. So BYU, 21st. Texas A&M rejoining the rankings. Took down Miami, 17-9. And, you know, some would say the Aggies are a top 20 team. Not there yet. You know, it was hard to put A&M back in the top 25 period. Uh, you know, the win against Miami was good. They were the 13th ranked team in the country based on the AP poll. Uh, but bouncing back from the App State game, that's tough to do. So give the Aggies a little bit of credit. But we'll really see what they're made of and really see if they deserve that top 25 spot still if they can take down Arkansas this weekend. So very interesting spot for Jimbo Fisher and the Aggies, but we did put them back in following their win over, for us, what was still a top 20 team in Miami, who we now have right below Texas A&M dropping seven spots. We had the Hurricanes at 16th. They're now 23rd. We just touched on that game. Again, A&M does deserve to be ranked against uh, over the Hurricanes. They won the head-to-head. Both teams really didn't play anybody prior to their meeting. Yes, A&M does have a loss to App State, but again, the head-to-head victory for A&M way more here, just barely over Miami. And then two more newcomers, Texas coming in finally. People are, rank them, rank them, rank them. Where's Texas? They're not back yet, but they did overcome a slow start, beat UTSA 41 to 20. They are now in the top 25 for us. Can they stay there? That's the question. Have a tough game against Texas Tech coming up, but the Longhorns finally in at 24th and App State finally getting the love they deserve. Maybe the most exciting team in college football right now defeating Troy on that last second Hail Mary. Unbelievable finish with college game day in appearance. How about that? App State beating them 32-28. to The win over Texas A&M holding a lot of weight here. The Mountaineers just barely cracking the top 25, but worthy of it over some of the teams that are right on the outside looking in. The teams that just missed the cut. Michigan State, who fell completely out of the top 25 for us following the loss to Washington. Florida State, 3-0 3-0 under Mike Norvell right now. Big win over Louisville on Friday. Minnesota, Washington State. Those are the four teams that we have right on the outside looking in. Appalachian State was right on the outside looking in last week. Their win over Troy finally catapults them into the top 25. Whether or not they stay there remains to be seen. Marshall beat Notre Dame last week, or in week two, then lost to Bowling Green. So that again, once again, just shows you anything can happen on any given Saturday. And these rankings can change in an instant in a single instant. And that is the beauty of college football. So guys, there you have it. Our week four Gridiron Expert Top 25. We want to hear from you. Let us know your thoughts about these rankings down in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Who's ranked too high? Who's ranked too low? Who's ranked that shouldn't be? Who's not ranked that should be? Let us know down in the comments below. Get ready to debate. Get ready to discuss. And get ready for another huge college football weekend because week four predictions start tomorrow. We're breaking down the biggest games of the week and we're ready to discuss that with you. So once again, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching us here at the Gridiron Expert on YouTube. Make sure to continue to like, comment, subscribe, share our videos, and of course, check out everything down in the description below, including those expert picks over on our website, thegridironexpert.com. Do not miss out on those picks, guys. Some of the best in the entire country, and we can guarantee not only will we finish with a winning record, but we will beat out over 80% of the national analysts. Make sure to sign up for those today. And once again, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on the Gridiron Expert.